A pleasant day, my art learners! Welcome to our new episode of Fun and Interactive Lesson in Art STEM Quarter 3. I'm Cassandra Murray, your art design teacher, back at it again with another lesson for today. In our past lesson, we have talked about what are the different types of video games, its positive and negative effects. Next is the importance and difference of digital painting and traditional painting. And lastly, the advantages of imaging videos, especially in science and in our medical fields. And so, I hope you will remember all of those. For today's lesson, we are going to learn about media-based arts and designs in the Philippines, specifically photography and the famous photographers in the Philippines. Before we go to the main topic, I want you to grab your pen and paper because we are going to play a game. This game is very familiar to you. It is called Four Picks, One Word. Pictures will be flashed on the screen and then you will guess the word that represents those four pictures. You are given five seconds to answer. So, are you ready my art learners? All right, then let's go! Here is the first set of pictures that you will guess. And the answer is camera. Good job. Next set of pictures that you will guess. And the answer is photographer. Very good. And the last set of pictures are... And the correct answer is... Communication! Nice work! Did you get all the answers correctly? If yes, keep up the good work. And if not, don't worry, we still have more activities that you can answer. Now, let's proceed to our main topic. Let's go! What is photography? During the 19th century, it was viewed as a purely technical process, recording visible images by light action on light-sensitive materials. As a matter of fact, in Greek terms, photos means light and graphos means writing. Photography is simply the process of capturing light with a camera to create an image. Did you know that because of the popularity of paintings and sculptures before, photography was not immediately considered as art? But it was not that long before the artistry of 20th century photographers, photography became an art. My dear art learners, what do you call a person who takes a photo? Photographer! Photographer is a professional that focuses on the art of taking photographs with a digital or film camera. Photographers use artificial and or natural lighting to snap pictures of various people, places, and things in a variety of settings. If you want to become a photographer, you should remember this. Everyone can be a photographer, but not all photographers can be an artist. Why? Because photography is a process. It requires a skill and knowledge in where to shoot and what to shoot. The photographer as an artist. When a photographer has his or her pictorial shoot, he or she makes sure that lighting are positioned well, modifies lens setting, uses filters to create an effect. He also takes pictures into dark room and uses an editing software to manipulate the image with enhancement techniques. As you all can see, photographers do whatever they can to create a true work of art. 
they make sure they combine all the elements of form, color, light, texture, and composition to catch the eyes of the viewers. What can you say about the pictures? I know some of you might answer pollution. Let's talk about photography as a form of communication. Yes, photography is also considered as a form of communication. For an instance, on the photos I showed you, it relays an information, an idea, an expression of someone's emotion. He or she would like to tell us that our world is slowly dying because of us. Photographs are vital tools in the field of communication, such as journalism, advertising, education, and in court laws. We also have famous photographers. They join the rest of the world in applying the wonders of modern photography to every aspect of life. They started as personal, to professional, to national, to global. And because of the natural beauty of our country, they have been taken on the Philippines and our people as a major focus of their lenses. Here are some of the famous photographers in the Philippines. First is we have George Tapay. He was an award-winning travel photographer. He won two Pacific Asia Tourism Association or the PATA Gold Award, had an ASEAN Tourism Association Award, he also won first place in a 2011 National Geographic Photo Contest. And he was also known because some of his shots were published in five travel photography books. Here are some of his famous shots. Next, we have John K. Chua. He was an advertising and commercial photographer he was the one who showcased the beauty of the Philippines. Here are some of his famous shots. Now that we are done with the discussion phase, it's time for activity time! My dear art learners, it's time to test if you have really listened to the lesson. Are you ready? Because I am. Let's go! Your activity will be multiple choice. The instruction is you are going to choose the correct answer. I want you to write your answer on the answer sheet. So are you ready? Game! In Greek, photos means blank. A. Picture B. Bright C. Light D. Image The correct answer is letter C. Number two, he or she focuses on the art of taking photographs with a digital or film camera. A. Imager B. Photographer C. Videographer and D. Recorder The correct answer is letter D. Number three. He was an award-winning travel photographer. A. Juan Chua. B. John Chua. C. George Capan. D. George Tapan. The correct answer is letter D. Number four. He was the one who showcased the beauty of the Philippines. A. John Chua. B. John Richard. C. Tony Valencia. D. Tony De La Cruz.
The correct answer is letter A. Number five, photography is considered as blank because it relays information with the use of a photo. Letter A, letter B, communication. C, news. D, music. The correct answer is letter B. That was amazing, isn't it? How was your score? You did a great job. My dear art learners, there's more activity to come. Are you still with me? Of course you are. Let's go. Okay, I want you to pretend that you are a photographer. How important are the elements of art in photography? Just a short answer will do, my dear art learners. Here is a sample answer. Elements of arts is important in photography because it balances and makes the picture more appealing. Congratulations for answering the question. I really appreciate it. Of course, we will not end this lesson without a homework. It was quoted, a picture is worth a thousand words. Now your homework is to take a picture that best describe your feelings and explain how did it become a way of communication. Take note, the picture should be taken by you and not from the internet. Your output will be graded based on the following rubrics. Principles and elements of art design, originality or creativity, skill, effort and quality, responsiveness. Now, it's time for us to end our lesson. I had an amazing time teaching you. I hope you've learned something. Again, I'm Cassandra Marie Dizon from Bartolome Sangalang National High School, your art design teacher, reminding you that there is always a reason to smile, with or without a camera. So you should smile more often. Bye-bye!